and one one zero near Hill Road off of East Street. You should be the first residence on your ride. Reference to a missing four year old. The parents have called me and advised that the mother have went for a walk. They came home, now they can't find her. They've been dealing with work. They've been gone for about 10 minutes now. Welcome to Reporter Room, where we seek truth and justice. My name is Jessica Della Davies, and I'm an investigative journalist. Today, we're going to discuss Don Wells caught on camera calling Candace terrible names and taunting her about Summer's disappearance. We're going to review the neighbors who heard a scream on June 15th, the day Summer went missing. We're going to discuss the mystery of the blue van and the truth about Summer's living conditions. We're going to look at the photos that Dr. Phil's crew didn't show you, and it's an enormous difference. Everything I'm about to share is my opinion, so please do not send any hate to anyone, anytime, anywhere. Let's be decent and kind to each other. And before I forget, you are invited to join me on Wednesdays for Killer Coffee and Crime Chat live streams at 3 p.m. New York time. It's every Wednesday, so put on something comfy, grab you some snacks and coffee, and let's cozy up and chat. So Dawn was caught on video taunting Candace and calling her names. I can't share the name calling, but here is Dawn taunting Candace about Summer's disappearance. He says, I've got seven alibis Candace has none. She's going down. Listen. I have seven alibis. Candace ain't going down. She's going down. So does this sound like a man who cares about finding his daughter? It's a completely different persona than the one he presented on the Dr. Phil show, isn't it? Before we go any further, please subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. I appreciate it. This case is moving fast. So I have enhanced before and after photos of Summer's room and of the Wells home interior. And I have photos also of her mattress. And this mattress was her entire bed. It was a cement floor without a box spring or headboard, but just a mattress lying on it. And we're going to look at those in a minute. So please stay with me. Let's talk about Jody Sue, who was neighbors with Candace and Dawn. She's moved now. And the scream, she said that she heard the day Summer disappeared. This was around an hour and a half before Candace and Dawn say that they called 911 to report that Summer was missing. Jody Sue, her son and daughter, hear something that they feel sounds suspicious, a scream. Jody says the scream stopped all three of them cold. She says her daughter went to their cabin door and she and her son followed. Then they heard it. Her son said, quote, we heard this shrill, almost animalistic scream. Jody Sue said it sounded animalistic, but not like an animal. She says, quote, I knew it wasn't a dog. It was not an animal. Concerned, Jody Sue and her son went outside to look for the source of the scream. Jody Sue said that she and her son decided to go out to see what they could see, went back inside, but didn't hear anything and didn't see anything. Because they didn't hear anything else, Jody Sue and her kids went about their early evening. However, around 6 p.m., Jody Sue says, at this point, I start to hear them holler for summer. By the third holler, I knew something was wrong, and then my brain immediately went to scream earlier. This. Uh-oh. Jody went outside and helped search for Summer. By the way, I have an awesome reporter true crime group on Facebook called Reporter Room, if you're interested. You can leave uh, lots of comments, opinions, and share other cases that you're interested in there. However, Sheriff Ronnie Lawson doesn't believe the scream was related to the disappearance of Summer. And if you haven't watched my video called Five Things Dr. Phil Didn't Tell You, then you'll want to see this because I go into detail on Dawn and Candace's criminal history. And it's important that you have this to consider when looking at all of the elements of the case. I will link it for you in the description below. 
So let's talk about the mysterious blue van and then we're going to look at the enhanced photos of Summer's house, room, and mattress. A lot has been made over Candace's talk about a blue van on Dr. Phil. During the interview with Dr. Phil, a brief exchange happens between Don and Candace about a vehicle that she says she saw near their home. They both discuss seeing a blue vehicle. Candace says it's a blue minivan, and Don says it's a Ford Bronco or Ford Escape. Chasing found and posted this photo of a blue vehicle and says it belongs to J.D. Dobbs. And this is probably the blue vehicle that Don and Candace were discussing on the Dr. Phil show. Many people thought it was just a distraction that Candace and Don were putting out there. But actually, if you look at Candace's interview with Chris McDonough of the interview room, she does discuss the blue van in part one. So let's look at the interior photos of the Wells home along with close-ups of Summer's mattress pictures. And I believe I know why Dr. Phil's camera crew was not permitted upstairs, and I want to show you why. So here's what Summer's bedroom looked like when Summer lived at Ben Hill Road. She slept on a mattress on the floor. Don and Candace also say that Summer slept with them, and this is concerning given Don's essay history. As you can see, the bedroom has been improved for the Dr. Phil show. There are newer looking toys and the mattress has been removed from the room. And Candace is now referring to Summer's bedroom as a quote playroom. Of course, those of you who have been following this case all along know that there was no playroom in this house. So here's Summer's mattress after it's been removed. And I did some close ups and enhance the photo so you can see the stains on the mattress. Can you make out what these stains are? Because I can't tell. But I do know this. This mattress is not suitable for any child to sleep on. And the first time I saw Summer's bedroom, it's a room in the basement without a door. I burst into tears. How did you feel when you saw it the first time? So Dr. Phil's camera crew was not permitted to film upstairs, and this is probably why. I also enhanced these photos of the Wells home so you can see the piles of stuff everywhere. Is this a safe environment for anyone? Is this a clean environment for children? What do you think, guys? So Don was caught lying to Dr. Phil. He told Dr. Phil the boys were removed because of hate from social media. He claimed that Child Protective Services had to open a case once Summer went missing. However, according to Candace's frenemy, Allie, Child Protective Services already had a case open. The boys were removed after Summer went missing, and this is true, but it's not because Child Protective Services believed the home was unsafe due to Summer's disappearance. This was very misleading, in my opinion. If you look at the early interviews with Dawn and Candace, Dawn repeatedly refers to Summer in the past tense. Does Dawn know what happened to Summer? Is he taunting Candace about having seven alibis because of something she has done? Please subscribe and leave me your comments below.